Hey guys, well for this final video of this force part series of uh, illustrating an architectural section, we are going to uh, insert people and insert trees. So for the for both of them, we're going to do them with Photoshop brushes. Uh, I have a series of brushes that have you know trees, palms, uh, grass, and also it has um, it has a, a lot of people. If I got these free from the internet from various pages, uh, if by some case you don't have these Photoshop brushes, just email me to let's show it better at gmail.com and I will give you the brushes for free, you know, so just don't worry. Um, so what I'm doing is just selecting the brush uh, and um, and putting different kinds of people in different places. Uh, the there's a quick tip or a quick method to scaling down or scaling up your brush so what you do is hit the alt button and hit the right click button and when you drag it your mouse to the left or to the right it's going to scale it up or it's going to scale it down and when you drag it up or down it's going to you know uh, put the opacity in zero percent or in a hundred percent so that's a very quick tip so you don't have to always have to open um, the brush palette and so you just make sure you put a lot of people and the people that you put um, you know the people that are closest to the section cut they're gonna be a hundred percent black and the people that are, that are farthest from the section cut there maybe there will be seventy percent black or um, thirty or forty you know and they get farther away they're just not gonna be that defined but it's just good to put to make sure the scale of the, of the people are always more or less the same. So another thing I did was insert a tree uh, in uh, one sort of tree. So I just looked for trees dot trees PNG in, in, in Google and found the one that I thought was going to work the most. This I'm going to do two types of trees. This realistic tree, which is also cool. Um, so I just copied the image and pasted it to the Photoshop uh, uh, archive but uh also i you know doing trees with the brushes is is cool too it looks cool it just depends on how you use them but it it looks cool so for this tree i, I just put it a little bit farther away from the section cut you know because i don't want it to call too much the attention and i darkened it up a little bit uh, just you know to to make it real like if the sun was hitting uh, the left side and the shadows are in the right side um, yeah So the other important thing I did, is, I did was apply a soft brush. If you guys checked out the third uh, part of this tutorial, you know that with a 10% opacity brush, you give it a realistic effect. So what I did was um, paint a soft brush to the tree and also to the people that were in the grass. It would just give it a little bit more of a, you know, a bit, a bit of a more realistic effect. Um, I tried to do like a, a a color change, but it didn't work as much. So I just at the end left it uh, overall how it was, you know, with with a very uh, with a very warm soft brush. Also, you can do it with a with a white brush, with a big white brush. What you can do is um, paint the upper left part of the section just 
to make the, the effect of the sun much, much more stronger. So you just have a big white brush, 10% opacity, and just paint it. Uh, next, for the trees, I, I had different types of trees. I wanted to put more or less palms, palm trees. So I scaled it down just like the same that I did with, with the people um, and just put it in different parts, mostly to the front of the image because it was, it was going to stand out more, much more. And try to put, you know, some, some with some places it works and with some places it doesn't. The important thing here with this effect is that the, the ones in the front have 100% opacity and the ones in the back have 10%, 20%, 30%. You know that they just, uh, they get smaller and smaller uh, just when they get farther away. It gives it like a, a little bit of a foggy look and it gives it a lot of uh, depth to the image. Also, when you, you can add much more contrast, I added like some kind of bushes to the front. So, you know, the contrast would be much more than the part of, of, of the back. And that was basically it. I also uh, uh, modified the cam, the whole canvas, so it wouldn't be as horizontal, but more vertical. So you can just select the crop, the crop button and uh, turn it up. So that's cool. And um, again, with soft brushes, with soft brushes, you can just all in black and 10, 20%, 30%, it, it will just give it a lot of depth. And you, and you don't have to start looking for so many images of trees because it can, it can be, a, you can get tired. So I hope you like it. Subscribe and share. Um, I hope you guys like the whole series of these videos. If you have any comments, doubts, or anything, just, uh, just write. Uh, and if you want to purchase the PSD file, um, just write an email to let's show it better at gmail.com and I will give you the instructions. Thank you for watching. Bye.